Good morning guys and welcome to another weekly vlog. So today is a bit of a strange day. I don't particularly have anything specific planned. I'm just going to see what happens because I'm waiting on the vet and the farrier coming today but neither one has given me a specific time for coming. Um, I've got the vet coming for Smokey's booster and then the farrier coming to do his feet. So we'll have to see how the day pans out and what I um, do before they arrive. So we'll have to see how the day pans out and what I can get up to before they arrive. It's Smokey's rest day today because we have a lot of exciting things coming up this week. He's going out for the very first time um, out training. So it's his first time away from home. Uh, we're going to load him up and take him out training. Um, and then I actually have possibly a competition at the end of the week, although that'll be in next week's vlog. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be a very exciting week. Now this morning I'm just about to have my breakfast, see to the animals at home um, and then I will head to my parents farm because I'm going to hopefully try and ride Charlie today. So the postie's just been and Smokey's new fly rug has arrived. So it's from Jump Equestrian, I've never really heard of these previously. Um, but basically I got this off eBay, it's a zebra print fly rug and it comes with a mask as well but I feel like oh it's a cob size mask so hopefully mind you that is pretty massive <laughs> yeah I think the mask might be too big for him just because he's got a tiny little pony head um but the rug I've got a five foot six which is normally his size so we will see although I tried a five foot six um fly rug on him the other week and it was way too small but it was kind of one of those non-branded ones it was actually taffies and it just didn't fit him so i'm hoping this one does because that is his normal size so i'm about to head to my parents farm and i'm going to take ted with me come here and he's got his new harness from waggy tails which is really nice it actually has some velcro straps that go on the side that say his name but it's got my phone number on so i can't obviously show them on camera but if i just cover up the number you can see basically that it says his name and then my number's underneath if he ever gets lost like brown cameo one and it suits his colouring perfectly so we'll take you to grandma's yeah come on then so i've just come down to the yard and brought smoke in because the vets just rang me and he's on his way to come give him his booster so he's just been brought in and eating his hay now i'm out of breath because i literally like rushed down here look at this me and then rushed to go get him because the vet was like i'm 15 minutes away and i was like 10 minutes away so he'll be here any minute when he smokes so the vet has been i didn't get a chance to film any of it just because he was literally here and then gone super quick um but he was such a good boy, he literally just stood there. He's really good with injections and things like that. He quite likes of it as well. Um, but now he's had that, I'm going to pop him back out in the field, go back to my parents, um, because then I've got to come back down here and bring him in for the farrier, but I don't think he's going to be here until this afternoon. So, turn you out for a bit longer, mate. Good boy. Brandy's to you. So because he was such a good boy, I've let him have some of the grass outside his field because he doesn't have a huge amount in there at the minute, which is what I want. That's why he's in that field because I actually moved him fields um, and he's in this one so that he has less grass because obviously he's a little bit of a porker and we don't want too much grass, um, but he can have a bit of a hand graze just for being such a well-behaved boy. So I headed back to the other horses and we actually had the vet coming but a different vet because we use a different vet for the other six um, to give Charlie his booster and to assess Danny because he's lame on his front right leg. Um, so he brought them up and Danny made himself at home in Chili's stable by having a roll and the reason he's in that stable is because his is being painted at the moment because I'm in the middle of the makeover. Um, so, as I said, Danny is lame on that front right foot. He's on and off lame, so it's intermittently lame on it. Um, so, we're going to have a look and see what he's what's happening with him. Uh, basically, it looks like it might be because we took his shoes off um, and that maybe he's a little bit too low on his heel and he does he had a very heavy jumping career. So, we'll see what the vet says in a little while anyway. 
So again, I didn't get a chance to film when the vet was there um, and I had to quickly rush down to go see to Smokey because my farrier was here and ready to do his shoes. So Smokey's having four shoes on today. Um, I'll update you all on Danny probably tomorrow when I get a chance to film. But here's Smokey having his feet done. He was very good and I think this was actually the first time he had his shoes on the back feet as well. Um, so he had a full set this time um, just because with how dry it is his feet were kind of like drying out and the backs had cracked a little so I don't want that to happen. So that was him all done anyway, um, all four shoes on and ready to go. Hey guys, so it's now Tuesday and I've come home, got changed um, because I've been working this morning and I don't know if you can tell but I'm a little bit sunburnt because it's such lovely weather at the moment. So this afternoon, um, firstly I'm going to go for lunch with my boyfriend, um, something non-horsey for a change, and then it's tonight is the night I'm taking Smokey out for his first training session away from home. So we're taking him to where our first show is going to be, and that's coming up at the weekend. So um, it's just like an equestrian centre with an indoor and outdoor arena, I think. Um, so we're going to go see what that's like tonight and I've got training there with my coach um, So yeah, I'm excited for that um, Slightly nervous because it'll be the first time I've ever taken him out anywhere and ridden him um, So we'll see how he gets on I don't think he's either I don't think he's been in an indoor arena either And I don't know if we're in the indoor or outdoor But um, yeah, he's definitely never been in one with me So I don't know if he's actually ever been in an indoor arena Which we might be jumping in on Saturday so it's probably a good idea to see what he thinks to it um, today but yeah so that is the plan so I'm gonna head out for lunch now and then I'll see you all in a bit so guys I've brought Smokey up and in typical Smokey style he is filthy despite me bathing him yesterday so I've tried to get off some of the dirt um, but really it's just getting ready to get everything together for what we need to take now so the first job I had was to clip Smokey's legs. Now he has got a lot of feather at the minute and they are looking particularly hairy just because I've not clipped them in a while. I did them with scissors last time and it just doesn't get it close enough. So this time I'm just using my liveryman clippers which are really excellent. I definitely recommend these by the way. Um, and Smokey's really good, he just stands there and lets me clip him, he honestly is probably one of the best holes I've ever had to clip, he just doesn't move a muscle so it was really helpful of him. And then I did try and tidy him up because he came in from the field looking very dirty despite his bath yesterday, but I actually just made it worse because as I tried to like wash off the spots that he was really dirty, it just kind of brought out the dirt in his comb, but it's only a training session, it doesn't matter too much. And then it was just time to load up the trailer and the car with everything I needed, so obviously you needed my tack. And then I just take a few other essential items, obviously all my riding gear. I always take lunge lines just in case you ever can't get them on, um, a spare whip, a spare head collar, things like that. But I will soon be uploading my what I take to a show video now that I've got a show coming up um, for anyone who's wondering what they should take when they're travelling their horse. Um, or what I take when I travel my horse and it was, it was so warm I just kept having to like take a drink every five minutes um, I think by this point the nerves had set in <laughs> but then it was finally time to load Smokey up and head to the equestrian centre now luckily where we're taking him isn't very far from where I actually have him on livery um, so it's a nice short journey for him hence no uh, travel boots or anything like that because it is just around the corner So Smokey is an absolute delight to load compared to some of my other horses. He literally just walks himself on. And then it was time to get all secured and head to the equestrian centre. Now once we got there I obviously 
unloaded Smokey. I put his bridle on in the trailer just in case he was strong coming out, which he wasn't actually at all. Um, but obviously it's a new environment for him and this is my first ever time um, having him out. I've never taken him somewhere before so I didn't know how he'd react. But he was really good and he stood there really nicely for me to tack up. So then I headed into the arena ready to warm Smokey up and today we are having a group lesson so there are three other riders in the group with me today and as always my coach is Tracy Rivett so for those of you that don't know or I haven't mentioned her in videos before that you've watched um, I've had Tracy for many years she's an absolute excellent coach so all of her links will be in the description bar below if you are looking for a coach and you're in kind of the South Humber area So Smokey made a little grey friend and I started by walking around with this other pony just to kind of build his confidence in a strange environment. To be fair he didn't really need it, he was really really well behaved so then I just started warming him up and getting him ready to jump. So once we were all warmed up, Tracy then explained the course to us. So basically she'd set up a course initially on the smaller side to get us all used to it and we were going to be going over the jumps. First jump was just going to be one at a time, then we were doing two jumps at a time and then progressing on to jumping the entire course. So to begin with we just started with a little cross pole which Smokey popped really nicely. So then it was time to raise it up a little bit and come on the other rein. And then we added a back pole. So then progressing around the course, our next jump had the fillers to the side of it so that he gets used to them. And this was a yellow jump. Now Smokey is notorious for not liking yellow and orange jumps, um, but he jumped it really well and came around the dog leg into the white jump really nicely. So I was really pleased with him at this point. Then we moved on to the double and he kept trying to run out at the second one. He did manage it once just because I wasn't fully on top of him. Um, so I think it was my error to be honest. I, I wasn't blaming him. He was just a little bit unsure and my reassurance wasn't enough there. Um, but we did get him over the second jump without, you know, much complication or much of an argument. And then I came around and did it again doing both jumps this time. Thank you. 
and as you can see he popped it absolutely no issues and he jumped the second one lovely next up we had the dreaded planks now i knew smeg was going to have an issue with those initially but again as soon as i give him the reassurance and make him go over it we then didn't have any issues and he was popping it nicely a lot of this is all to do with Smokey's confidence and also my confidence because a lot of the time when I should be reassuring him because I'm still getting used to it as well I'm not quick enough and that's why he sometimes stops or sometimes runs out but we're getting there and we're definitely getting much more on top of him. So this is just me practicing the final fences before we start putting it all together. So I did actually go around the course twice and the second time was actually a lot better. However, my boyfriend managed to film it all in slow motion, which got rid of the quality, so I don't have that one unfortunately. But that was the end of our training session. I was so pleased with Smokey. He was such a good boy. I was so, so proud of him for our very first outing and it gave me a lot of confidence for our coming show. Good morning guys, so today is Wednesday and I've just been having a bit of an admin morning so I got up, I've replied to emails out in the garden and I've uploaded any content that wasn't on my laptop to my laptop and just got everything ready for editing later. But basically today's due to be really warm, it's forecast to be like 27 degrees which I know to like some of my followers who aren't from the UK might not seem that high but in the UK that's like stupidly warm. Um, so I'm going to head down to, I'm going to get changed in a minute, see to the rabbit and then I'm going to head down to the horses. I need to go to Smokey first because he's got a fly sheet on and he will sweat even in a fly sheet so I need to get that off him. Um, and he is having a day off today so I'm just going to poop him and check he's got enough hay and things um, because obviously he jumped last night and he jumped away from home so I'm giving him the day off he does get one day off a week um, depending on my schedule so today's that day and then on Saturday is our competition so need to get him ready for that um, but yeah, so I'm going to go down and do that and then I'm going to head to my parents' farm to look after the other animals. So I'll be there for a few hours um, and generally helping out. I'm not sure what I'm doing today there. Um, might be riding, might not. Who knows what's happening? I never know. I wake up and just find out when I get there. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go and get ready now and I will bring you on the journey as always. So before I head down to the horses, I had Tallulah, my rabbit, to look after. So the first job was to remove her water bottle that was in there. So that was frozen yesterday, but obviously it's melted. So I'll take that out and I'll replace it with a frozen ice pack. Um, so this, I just pop in a cage for her and it keeps her nice and cool. She can sit on it um, or she can sit near it and it just helps reduce the temperature in the hutch. She isn't kept just in the hutch, she does have run of the garden as well. And I also obviously top up her water, make sure that she's got plenty of water, especially on hot days. Her food didn't need topping up, so that was fine. And then I just spent a few minutes giving her head rubs and just checking her over. Um, as Tallulah was hand reared, she is very friendly, so she really enjoys human attention, hence why she's a single bun, because she doesn't like other rabbits. 
and as well as that it's time to top up her hay tray and um, so even in the hotter weather rabbits still need continuous roughage so make sure that they've got plenty of hay And then the last thing that I needed to do was fill up her veggie bowl. Now I prefer to feed rabbits herbs rather than actual vegetables but today she has got some romaine lettuce, some um, parsley, flat leaf parsley and some mint in there and I find that herbs are much more gentle and more natural for a rabbit's stomach. I don't feed mine a lot of vegetables, I do have her feed them quite a lot of herbs um, that I pop in this hanging bowl for her and she really enjoys that so it gives her something to do as well during the day she's also scatter fed um, vegetables on the garden sometimes and as I said she has access to all the grass in our garden and um, throughout the day we just leave her free roaming so she's got plenty of space to run about but that was Tallulah all ready for the day so I jumped into my car and headed down to take Smokey's fly rug off So it's 10 a.m. and it's already 25 and a half degrees. Oh, it's gonna be a warm one. Okay, so I just got down here. It's a bit windy, so sorry if the audio is a bit rubbish. But I'm gonna take Smokey's <laughs> rug off. Stop jumping. And um, he's got this new zebra print rug fly sheet um, from Jump Equestrian. This is the only problem with having a wide pony is he literally just tightens every rug even when you pull it all the way forward because you're so wide at the front and the reason I got him a zebra print fly rug is because apparently the stripes confuse flies so as well as having like the fly sheet on to get rid of them and um, it like confuses them so they don't know where to land so that's apparently what it does anyway I just think it looks pretty, that you look like a zebra. You've got something in your eye, let me get it. Let me get it. Thank you. Little grumps. <laughs> What's with the attitude today? I'm coming to poop at ya. You have the day off. He actually doesn't like his days off. He hates it when I leave him in the field. He like stands there in a strop. Like, why am I not coming up for attention, mum? But you've got to rest sometimes. I need to wash your grooming kit so there's no point in me brushing you to be fair he's actually stayed really clean um because i gave him bath yesterday after we jumped and he's cleaner now than he was after i bathed him and then left him in the stable that's not knowing at all smokes right poop king time tell me you have a needy horse without telling me you have a needy horse what do you want? But then if I just come and try and cuddle him, I'll probably go away. Well, you would like to stand next to mum, don't you? While I poop pick. <laughs> yeah. He just follows me around the field. He's like, no, I don't. Stop embarrassing me. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, poo's picked. Rug off, so that smoke's all done. Grumpy pony, who wants to come up? and be given attention and treats. You only want to come up for the food, I know. I'll see you in a bit. Might come later if I've got time. Loves you. Love you. It makes me feel bad on days I don't ride him because he's like, but mum. You're meant to be relaxing and enjoying. Go eat some grass and some hay. It's like, I'd like the grass out there. No. Go on, you're gonna, you'll get zapped. You will. So after I'd seen to Smokey for the day, I then headed to my parents' farm where all the other animals are. And this afternoon, because the weather's so nice, I was going to ride Charlie, but I decided instead to give him a bath. Now, the main reason that we bath Charlie quite often is because his feathers, um, he gets a quite high build of keratin in those. So it's important that we brush through and wash his feathers quite regularly just to help break down that build up. And today I am using my snazzy new toy. So this is from Amazon. I'll pop the link in the description box below. But basically you add shampoo or whatever you want to use into this little compartment. And then you can do it so that the water mixes with the shampoo and sprays the horse. Now I think this is a really great step to add into a bath 
because it means you can literally cover the horse in shampoo I end up using a lot less shampoo um, and it was really brilliant you'll see after I do go over certain areas with neat shampoo as well just to lift off any stubborn stains but this is really good if you just want to give a quick wash or you're just wanting an all over like not too deep wash um, so that is what I'll be using today and another little hack or tip um, is something that I definitely recommend are these B&M, they're washing up gloves so they're for like if you want to wash your plates with your hands, I don't really get it um, but they're absolutely fantastic for bathing horses because they've got bristles on the hands um, and they make the shampoo foam up really well and for things like Charlie's legs that normally take me absolutely forever to brush through if I'm using a brush um, they just honestly make it so much quicker and they get really deep and um, so I definitely recommend these if you're looking for like quicker ways or easier ways to give your horse a bath check them out in B&M I think they were like three pounds or something silly like that Okay, so Charlie is now much cleaner than he was. He's also much grumpier than he was. So I'm gonna turn him out in a moment. He's had a paddy because his hay ran out. <laughs> oh, chunk. I don't know why, every single time I think, oh yeah, I'll bring Charlie up, I'll give him a bath and everything, because I know how it ends. It ends in him having a tantrum, each and every. So I'm gonna take him out to the field now, and it's gonna sort his fall look out because it's annoying me. Um, I'm gonna take him out to the field now before we have any broken fences. He's so naughty and then he's so lovely. He stands out has a paddy and then he's like, I want attention. You naughty boy, aren't you? Yes, naughty pony. So once the sun was setting and it was much late that evening and it had cooled down, we then took Ted for a walk around the woods. Um, obviously we have to wait until it's really nice and cool. But that was the end of the day and it was absolutely lovely, a really nice sunny but chilled day. Okay guys, so it's now Thursday and very drastic weather change because today it is pretty wet and pretty windy and literally quite miserable. So as always, my first task of the day is to poo pick the horses at my parents. So that is what I will be doing and look oh, at the state of them. My goodness. I think the horses have been enjoying being out in the rain and the mud for a change because it's been very dry recently. Because as you can see, Lucy is absolutely covered. Oh, it, oh, oh it, it got better. Ah, lovely. So you've got all that grassy bit, but you've rolled here. Oh, that gray thing that used to be gray is now bay. <sighs> I love horses and owning grays and pie bolts. <sighs> oh, Lucy. I mean, it's not even just dirt. It's just like, And I'm not even see I'm not even seeing Smokey till later. So oh, no. So um can't really see because I'm in his shelter, so the lighting's a bit perfect. I'll just come around this side till you get the 
full appreciation. It's like an ombre grey. What have you done to your mane? Some sort of mud mask you're going for? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, gosh. It's like, there's nothing I can do. I mean, look at his tail. I've just got to literally wait for this to dry and try and brush it off. Don't buy a grey, whatever you do. So after pooping and doing a few other jobs on the farm and looking after the other animals, it was then time to give the horses their lunchtime hay nets and Chili as always gets his feed. So Chili's on, I think it's 30, it's like 30 odd Pyroton a day, inhalers twice a day. Um, and we are also putting honey in his feed now um, and that's helping a lot with his allergies. The honey's actually been a bit of a breakthrough. but. Chili's the only one that has anything like that. All the others just get their hay or haylage in a net. Um, and that's just the horse's lunchtime done. So just to update you with Danny. So he's on his butte therapy and he's actually doing pretty well. He's not really showing much lameness at all he is slightly lame but really not much at all um he's due his shoes being put back on which we think will help the most and then continuing the boot therapy to see what happens when we wean him off it slightly with his shoes on um and just basically going from there and keeping communicating with our vet to keep her updated on the situation how he's doing but as you can see he's very happy in himself so that's all good So after lunch I headed out to the local equestrian store just to grab a few last minute items for my upcoming show. Now I didn't need a saddle pad and technically I'm on a spending ban but I saw this absolutely gorgeous Shire's um, close contract saddle pad and it's in my show colours which are navy and it had bling on it so I just couldn't resist so I did end up picking that up and buying it which I wasn't meant to which was very naughty of me and then I admired all of the hats I'm really after a new riding hat but I can't decide what and then I picked up a few other bits so I got like a bun hairnet which I know isn't essential but I just thought it like look nice and it matched my bling and then I had a quick browse around my favorite section of the shop which is all of the brushes Okay guys, so it is a little bit later on now. So my plan for the day changed slightly because basically I managed to get my second COVID vaccine with my boyfriend because um, his was booked in today and they let me have mine at the same time. So that was really good. So I've had my vaccine, I've had my meeting, um, which was super exciting. So basically I can now tell you guys that I am now a brand ambassador. I've been chosen um, by Equus England, which is an amazing online website for everything horseware, from stable stuff to riding clothes to tack and equipment. Literally everything you could ever want is on that website and it's really high quality. And it's like Lemire, it's Shires, it's all the brands we know and love. Um, it's Red Gorilla and you know other brands that I'm really passionate about. So that's what they sell. So they've very kindly given me a 10% discount. So if you use the code that I will put here, which is BAGK10, you get 10% off every full price item on the website, which is super generous of them. Um, so I was so honored that they got in touch with me and asked me to be a brand ambassador, um, completely out of the blue, and I you know, I'm just so excited, so I'm talking fast. But basically, that's what happened this afternoon. Um, now I've got to go and jump Smokey. It's the last time I can jump him before my show on Saturday, because it's Thursday and I don't want to jump him the day before the show. So it's like six o'clock now. I'm not going to film it because you've already seen me jumping this week. And also I'm in a bit of a rush because I've not even like had my tea or anything. I've just been rushing about and having meetings and getting jabs. Um, so I'm going to go do that now. Hopefully get some photos as soon as I'm not filming. But yeah, um, I think that's going to be it for today. So I'll see you tomorrow. 
So ignoring everything that I've just said, this is a little snippet of me and Smokey when we started jumping and the reason I wanted to put this in is because this evening we actually got him jumping quite high for what we've done recently so this was more just a warm up and um, as you can see we're a little bit disjointed and it didn't start off well and um, we like it felt very disjointed and just like he wasn't putting much effort in and I just it didn't feel like it started great but actually by the end of our jumping session he was jumping really nicely so this is the biggest I've jumped him for a very long time and he absolutely sailed over it my position wasn't great but I was very very impressed with him and it gave me a lot of confidence this evening so it is now Friday and I've swapped the mini grey for the massive grey. So this is actually the first time in several months that I've ridden chilli and that's because his allergies haven't been great but his allergies are actually now that we've got him on honey um, which is local to the area and getting him used to the pollen he's actually going a lot better so he's not head shaking. So my mum's been riding him mainly but today I noticed her riding him and I said can I jump on board? Now it felt felt so strange getting back on 17 hands after I was so used to Smokey's little strides and I literally felt like he was chucking me out of the saddle so I really need to have a few lessons I think on Chili to get me back into riding him but he was lovely to ride I only rode him literally I did this and I canted him on the other rein which we didn't film um, but it was just really nice to get back in the saddle with him so I'm hoping soon I'll be able to start jumping Chili again as well Currently doing fence maintenance and getting absolutely soaking wet. Loving life. It's not really ideal. So I've gone from getting absolutely soaked at my parents to absolutely soaked on the livery yard. And let me just show you some. I've got to compete this tomorrow. And look at the colour of him. Bath time mate. So for the rest of the evening I free schooled Smokey. I then gave him a very needed bath for a couple of hours because it's our show tomorrow and I need him gleaming and then I just clean tack and basically just got everything ready to go in the trailer to go to the show tomorrow but you won't see any of the show in this vlog. It will be coming up in Friday's vlog at 5 p.m. so make sure you don't miss it. Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all on Friday. Bye guys.